Let's take a look at incorporating virtual instruments into your Cubase project window. There are two methods for doing this. One can be a very simple instrument track, and the second one will be using the instrument rack, which can yield some more flexibility. Adding an instrument track is as simple as right-clicking, choosing Add Instrument Track, selecting one of your installed instruments. I'll choose Halion Sonic SE. Now, as we watch the mixer here, I'm going to select Add Track, and we'll add a single track right here in our mixer, which will consolidate the MIDI and audio volume and allow quick access for all of our audio effects and EQ right there. Looking at the virtual instrument, we'll notice that it's going to be mono timbral. Now, instrument tracks will not allow you to access multi timbral instruments, so you can have one MIDI channel per instance. Instrument tracks are also limited to just stereo outputs. Again, very fast and easy to set up, but maybe not as flexible. So if you wanted to have another instrument with multiple outputs that was multi-timbral, we could go to your devices menu, go to your VST instrument rack, and load it up right here. So we'll load up the same instrument, Hyun Sonic SE, and as we do this, we actually will get prompted with, do we want to create a MIDI track that's automatically assigned to the plugin Halion Sonic SE? If we choose create, it will automatically add the MIDI track and route the output to our given instrument. Now, as you notice this, as we've added the instrument via the instrument rack, we can see that we have a MIDI control here for volume our MIDI track in the mixer, as well as the audio outputs. Now, to achieve multiple outputs from the instrument rack, you'll see a little icon just to the left here. So clicking here, you could activate multiple outputs or choose to just activate all the outputs for a given instrument. And once you do that, you can now see all 16 stereo outputs from the Halion Sonic SE from the instrument rack. So while this can sometimes be a little more confusing, it gives you more flexibility if you need to have multi-timbral capabilities within the same instrument, as well as multiple outputs. So for very quick, easy addition of VST instruments, that's ideal for monotimbral instruments. And if you're only using stereo outputs, the instrument track is very efficient for that. For more flexibility, go to the instrument rack add the instrument there, access your multiple outputs, and have access to multi-timbral characteristics. So depending on your instrument and depending upon the actual project, you can choose which one is best for you, the instrument rack or the instrument track.